Let's take a look at the position and consolidation filter. I'm just getting started, so I haven't added any values yet to the filter, so it's looking at all stocks. So what does this mean? This demonstration shows what's going on inside the test server. This is just a demonstration. Our live servers are looking much faster at a larger set of stocks. This demonstration will give you an idea. The server is watching every stock at every moment to see just where the consolidation patterns are. This is just the background information. We still haven't told it yet what we want. An important thing to notice is that it doesn't include today. I haven't told it what it looks like yet. Consolidations are important for different reasons. Maybe you want something that is keeping a consolidation pattern right in the middle. Or maybe something that is breaking out of a consolidation. Or maybe something that is breaking down from a consolidation. Notice that all I did was move this slider and the numbers appeared. I tell it that I'm looking for stuff that looks like this, and the server constantly looks through stocks until it finds something that matches it. It's important to notice that this isn't just one stock chart I'm describing. I'm giving this description and it's now showing different stocks at different times. It's now a description that could describe a lot of stocks at different times. Of course, there's usually more than one number involved. I have the minimum and the maximum. Let's set the minimum and say that I want stuff that looks like this because that's the minimum I want. Anything less than this would not be interesting. But I don't want stuff that's too crazy either. I'll set the maximum somewhere around there and I can always type the number in if, for example, I really want to see something like 3000. So now I've set this strategy. I won't see stuff that's crazier than this and is at least as far up as the minimum value. 